Now I, I would like to uh, give a floor to Dan for a few words, and then then we are going to see what what happened to the uh, declaration and and uh, and uh, approximately around 12 o'clock we will have a lunch, and uh, and uh, the buses to Helsinki are leaving at at one o'clock in front of the the museum, and those uh, officers. Uh, uh, and persons who uh, know that they have to stay here in the meeting. There's this is uh, a uh, working group, CBSS, uh, Barents and NDPC. The meetings uh, are starting at, at one o'clock here in the, in the meeting rooms. And Maya, Maya Lumepuro, uh, she's guiding you to the meeting and, and there will be also buses after the meeting for those who stay here. But uh, Dan, please. Thank you. Well, it's not that very easy to com com put it all together, what we have been discussing during the day yesterday and today. But I will start to make it this way. You are, are possible to use this one. Why not be very modern now? So you could going to make the solution, but I will give you some background ideas what I have been thinking during these two days. and. To do this, I think we're going to do like this. I will call it the SWOT analysis. I hope many knows what that is. Meaning strange, weakness, opportunities, and threats. I mean, these four corners. So I will give some leading words, what I think. And you, I want you to send it on the screen. And in the end, someone will put it all together in a very beautiful solution of what we have come up to. Can we do this? So use your telephone or whatever you use to put it on the screen. So we start with the strengths. Well, according to me, the strengths are, mo uh, among other things, it's we have a common history that unites us. There's no questions about it. Uh, we have heard both today and yesterday. We can follow our history back to the Viking Age even earlier. We see traces of each other all over this part of Europe. So the strength, one of the most important strengths is our common history. Uh, it also is like this, that most of the history is very well displayed. You can go from one country to another, visit museums, and you see traces of our old history. And we also have strengths, I think, in good uh, exhibitions and a lot of this reenactment, re living history, that makes it also very good to display our common history. When it comes to weakness, I would use one word to start with, infrastructure. And that means all the way from information through written sources to passing borders or whatever, um, getting into good hotel at the different sites and all that. Infrastructure, I think, is one of the main problems, and we might also include maybe language in this problem. Uh, more about uh, infrastructure, uh, sorry, more about weakness. Uh, I mentioned, and I think I would like to stress that, we need more, uh, what should I say, compiled information about our history in different languages, both in Russian language and in other languages. We are very separated when it comes to knowledge about our history. We know very well from the Western side what we have in Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and England. We don't know very much what we have in Eastern Europe. And it might be a little bit the same way on that direction. So knowing our history, we have to be more transnational in our reporting, both scientists and tourists. I, I talked about weakness, US opportunities. Well, I think it's rather clear now there is a huge interest in the Viking and early Middle history in Europe, all over Europe. And can't look, I can't help to say this BBC, B British Museum exhibition. I think there will be a success as almost every 
exhibition about Viking history is a success. Every time there is a new one. I mean, there is a tremendous interest in the theme. And the time, as Mike said yesterday, is probably very right now to build on this, in, this in, uh, interest all over the Europe. Opportunities also, we heard from the Council of Europe, we heard from the e European Commission, all the possibilities that are open for searching for money for cooperation. I think we should take care of these opportunities, not only from these two organizations, but also from the different countries. So we should work on this very much. I think there are good possibilities now, opportunities, to search money for different things connected to our theme. So we shouldn't lose that possibility now. Uh, threats. Well, that is one big threat. We have touched up on it, but we shouldn't keep it in our forum. That's politics, of course. But there are also other threats. Normally, when we work with reenactment groups and, and festivals and things like that, it's very much built on what I call fire souls. That's a Swedish word, eldsjäl. We used to have some person very dedicated to do something when we need to support them, but they used to burn out very quickly sometimes. And another threat, well, weakness, maybe I should call it more weakness, is normally when you ask for money from the European Commission or from other organizations, you get money for one, two, three years, very seldom more. And that is a problem. Because this work we do in the culture field takes more time than three years to finish and to get it running by itself. I think that is utmost important. I have talked to many organizations about it. Don't give for three months. Too short time. And I remember when this very famous medieval week started in Gotland, that's 30 years ago. And it's still running. And we have something like 50,000 visitors for a year, for a week, sorry. And they started 84. And it took more than five years before they just left the ground. So don't calculate with projects and talking to the person who gives money. Don't talk about three years. It doesn't work. We need more. At least five, six years to get something running. And I think that's very important. And that is not a threat, but it's a weakness in our business when they talked about culture, heritage and tourism. You don't build it in a couple of years. You need more time. I guess they're coming up more now from the screen here. Is there someone who wants to say something directly to the mic microphone now? Anyway, I hope I had put some inf important ideas about this cooperation in the future. So I hope also that you take the opportunity to put your ideas on the screen and that will put, be put together in the last paper, I guess. So I, can, I think I stop from here and you can continue to put up measures. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very much for your wise words. And, and please keep thinking about these uh, SWOT analysis points. They are really important and, and to, to uh, I think, for uh, all of us to, to, to analyze and go further with our ideas and, and uh, common projects and, and initiatives, and etc. <coughs> but now, uh, we ha we uh, we can have news about the final declaration. What happened during these days, Marianne? Please. Taking this paper where we have this declaration text, 
As far we have not received any comments for that, but now it would be time to discuss. And I think that we can go through the text, or my proposal is that we go through the text, so chapter by chapter, and then you will raise questions if you have. And what is the meaning of this declaration? It is that uh, we are addressing it to the other regional bodies, that we, we want to to give a mission that uh, to enhance cultural roots and enhance collaboration between heritage, between culture and tourism, to increase attractiveness, but also the regional development and and improve our collaboration. So this is the somehow this is the mission we will leave to the others to improve and go further. So. The start is quite clear, I think. No problem with that. <laughs> and this is our topics sum summarized. Of course, you have also, let's say that, because we are then very eager to, to make a report of this forum, to, to have it online. So I think that we can make, give you maybe one week to, to send comments afterward. And there is in, in your folder, there are our email addresses and of again that if you think that uh, your speeches or something you have mentioned is important you can also send us that if you have that kind of material that you would like to be considered when making the report of this event so please send to us and this uh, okay this is still like a basic information on this. But now we are then uh, giving like a framework for where we, where we started and in a way that we are, uh, it's, a, it's a premises for us that we think that there is, we have a diverse and attractive cultural life and heritage and there is uh, uh, emerging e economies of cultural and creative industries and that uh, uh, tourism is a growing sector and uh, can give us prosperity uh, and then we have research and know how which should be used for benefit and improving the tourism and then more that we have frameworks, we have organizations uh, or, and networks who could be used as a channel to, to enhance and to, to find actors to make things and to join actors. And then that there is a political interest even on European level and in the Russian Federation to enhance tourism, cultural tourism. And then we have uh, mentioned the so-called good practices of international organizations. And when I said we, it means that this has really been like a group of uh, organizations organization in, in Finland, in the Ministry of Education and uh, on, the, on the tourist board. And then we have also consulted our speakers. And then it's, uh, this is our messages. We think that the main messages we want, want to send further to other actors. And, and here we under, underline that cultural roots could be used as a tool for internationalization, for networking and f uh, over the borders and cross sectors. And then we think uh, <laughs> we are addressing these targets for, for future forums and stakeholders holders to to work with. And then we have taken the liberty to, to address the future CB as, as presidencies to, to continue with this work in one way or other. What is, 
what periods or what issues they think is important because as we said there are many several actors and many many dimensions perspectives where we can from where we can come to 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 this enhancement of cultural tourism so this is uh, this is now our mission <laughs> and do you have any yes It's just a question about Norway, mm. uh, because on, on the top of the second page, you yeah. say that the European Union and the Russian Federation. Yes, and Norway, um, underline. Norway is not there. <laughs> and, and I understand, uh, yes. especially... Norway and Iceland. Yeah, and Iceland also in the, in the northern yeah. dimension, so maybe you should add those yes. two countries. Yes. Thank yes. you. Or, or, or the CB as a framework. I don't know how, what is the best way, but yes, of course we are. It is. It is. Uh, you mean that se because we have in our folders, we have the address list. So you would like that uh, we will send to, to all this, this declaration that we can do and then you act, you will also get our addresses and it's easy to reply okay reply to us not reply to all otherwise it could be a mess you know. and what we say today is 21st so we will give time to the 28th and we will do it today but late today okay So, done. Thank you.